In today's episode, Tesla reveals a fresh update on their 4,680 battery. There's nothing better than enjoying yourself at a diner. And Tesla vehicles are also about to get some major software upgrades. Tesla has developed a new version of their 4,680 battery cell that could transform the EV industry and reduce America's reliance on China for batteries. You're on a, this new battery is the LFP 4680, and the details come from a Tesla patent filed on January 16th with the World Intellectual Property Organization. This patent outlines a method for producing LFP cathode material, which stands for lithium iron phosphate. This type of battery replaces costly and hard to source materials like nickel, cobalt, and aluminum with more abundant iron. While LFP batteries don't offer the high performance or long range needed for premium EVs, they are perfectly suitable for budget-friendly vehicles. That's why LFP batteries have become one of the most widely used formats for electric cars globally. They provide a caustic way to make EVs more affordable. However, there's a downside. Most LFP battery production has been concentrated in China. The Chinese company CATL, the world's largest battery manufacturer, held patents on the LFP process for many years, but those patents recently expired, opening up the market. Tesla is now taking advantage of this opportunity. Since 2021, Tesla has been using CATL produced LFP cells in the Model 3 and Model Y, especially in vehicles made at Giga Shanghai, but this has created challenges in the US. The Inflation Reduction Act, signed into law in August 2022, introduced significant tax credits for automakers using battery cells manufactured in North America with locally sourced materials. This effectively penalizes the use of Chinese-made LFP batteries. While there's talk of policy changes, including potential tariffs on Chinese battery imports, the pressure remains to develop LFP production in America Tesla is addressing this by finalizing a process to produce iron-based cathodes domestically. They plan to use their own 4,680 cylindrical battery cell formats and other traditional formats. This development was confirmed by Drew Baglino, Tesla's former VP of powertrain engineering, who left the company nearly a year ago. His comments suggest that Tesla's plan has been in the works for quite some time. Drew stated that the patented method offers a scalable, cost efficable way to produce LFP, potentially making it cheaper than Chinese alternatives, even with Evidence suggests Tesla has already made significant progress. According to Jordan from The Limiting Factor, Tesla has been conducting LFP production tests for three years. A former Tesla materials engineer's LinkedIn profile revealed details about LFP pilot trials and production tests. One batch reportedly reached 100 tons, which translates to enough cathode material for several hundred vehicles. This aligns with a 2024 report hinting at four new 4,680 battery variants in development set to launch by 2026. One of these variants called NC5 or New Cell 5 is expected to power Tesla's robo-taxis, Cybertruck, Semi, and a new vehicle, the RoboVan. This suggests a more affordable, lower range version of the Cybertruck and Semi may be on the horizon. The timeline indicates that the new LFP 4,680 cells could debut with the CyberCab in 2026, potentially helping Tesla maintain a price below $30,000 for that vehicle. Tesla is also making strides in software updates. In 2023 alone, the company delivered over 300 new features to customers via free over-the-air updates. While we await the big spring update, Tesla has been testing new features, including those tied to their first supercharging diner. This was discovered in Tesla's iOS app, showing a new interface for ordering food and services directly from your phone. The Tesla Diner, nearing completion, features two massive 45-foot outdoor LED screens, 34 superchargers, and a retro stainless steel building. The concept dates back to 2018 when Elon Musk first teased the idea of a drive-in diner with roller skates and outdoor movie screens. Over the years, plans evolved, and by 2001, Santa Monica Boulevard in LA is expected to open. Uh, just a helpful summary of the diner uh, September 8th through Sunday, October 14th, the diner is expected to open. 
Tesla has even posted job openings for the diner, with Rolls offering salaries up to $255,000 annually. In addition to the diner, Tesla's app updates include ultra-wideband support for Android phones, allowing for more accurate phone tracking and features like hands-free trunk opening. Tesla also launched a major holiday update in China, introducing navigation improvements, service area prompts, and a feature to unlock supercharger bollards from inside the car. Breadcrumbs in Tesla's code suggest upcoming features like insurance discounts for FSD users, factoring in safety scores and FSD usage. Elon Musk has expressed confidence in Tesla's FSD software surpassing human driving safety by Q2 of this year with the technology becoming exponentially safer over time. These updates reflect Tesla's ongoing innovation in both hardware and software, ensuring they stay at the forefront of the EV industry.